So I noticed that my front tire was seeming a little bit flat and I actually run with them at quite a low PSI, but uh, it seemed almost a bit flatter than that. So it looks like sealant came out here. I'm just gonna make a reference of where that is. I don't really see a hole to plug. I'm on the um, Kingston to Pembroke trail today and or the KMP trail as it's more commonly known and I'm leaving Kingston behind me in my dust. The southern end of the KMP trail is absolutely spectacular. The gravel is just fantastic. It's so smooth and then the scenery is constantly changing from beautifully shaded tree-lined uh, avenues to open farmland, interesting buildings, and then lots and lots of rock cuts. This really is a gem of a trail, but it's not a hidden gem. It seems that a lot of people know about it. There were an awful lot of cyclists on it, which is fantastic. A lot of walkers as well. So you do have to be mindful of other people. So the KMP trail is actually 180 kilometers long. I won't be doing that today, um, seeing as I only really have the morning to ride on it. I'll probably just go up to Verona from my starting point just south of the 401 there. So this uh, railway line was built in the 19th century and it was built to link all of the small farming villages and towns and settlements to the to the north um, with the lakeshore of Lake Ontario and, and Kingston. And it was actually closed in the first 10 years of the 20th century, so before 1910. And I find that really extraordinary for, for one main reason, and that is of all of the rail trails that I've been on, this one has the most evidence of really heavy engineering. So at the moment, I'm actually sitting on an embankment and all of this earth that forms a rail trail has had to be bought from uh, down in the valley there and, uh, and placed up here just to make the, the rail line, the incline, um, a lot less steep or else the trains wouldn't have been able to get up it. And then just to the north of where I'm sitting, there's uh, a cutting and evidence of really heavy blasting where they've had to blow the, the, the hillside and the, the very heavy granite rock um, out of the way so that they can put the, the train line through. So it's, it's extraordinary. An awful lot of work went into this train line and then it was closed, you know, really at the height of, uh, of rail travel. It's beautiful going through here and it's actually a little bit cooler as well than the surrounding uh, bits of the rail track. Yeah. 
So I noticed that my front tire was seeming a little bit flat and I actually run with them at quite a low PSI, but uh, it seemed almost a bit flatter than that. So um, I tried pumping out with a hand pump, um, but I was getting bitten by, so I'll get moving to get away from the fly. I was getting bitten by so many uh, flies and mosquitoes that uh, I just got the CO2 out in the end and filled it up real quick. Um, I'll keep an eye on it. I'm not sure that I'm going to go too much further though because I don't really want to get stuck uh, a long way from uh, where I need to be. But I think it'll be okay. A whole clump here. It looks like sealant came out here. Hello. Hi. Hi. So it looks like sealant came out here. I'm just gonna make a reference of where that is. I don't really see a hole to plug though. So hopefully it's done its job, but I think that I will, I will head back and keep an eye on that. Maybe I'll throw a bit more gas in and uh, yeah, ride on a really hard tire. Okay. Yeah, I think I have a slow, uh, leak? slow leak. Yeah, there was some, some of the sealant was just here, but I think oh. I'll just top it right up. And so it seems to be holding for now. Um, I don't know if you could see that when I was messing around with the tire there, but um, there was like a wet patch on the tire where some of the gravel was gathered around. It looked like probably some sealant had come out there, although it wasn't noticeably white or anything like that. And then when I cleared that out of the way, I couldn't really see a hole at all. Um, so I don't know, I mean, that that sticky patch on the tire may have been me going over something. I don't know. Um, I certainly think that the tire was a little bit flatter than I normally have it. Uh, as I said, I keep the PSI probably too low, to be honest. But uh, that's just my preference anyway heading back and so far it's holding and yeah it just adds to the adventure it's so sad actually yeah the only thing i think is when i was a kid yep. people were saying this about my generation as well you know <laughs> i'm sure we were better so you remember Nav? Well, he turned around and uh, on his e-bike he was able to catch up with me again. He then rode with me all the way back to my starting point in Kingston just uh, just to be there in case I should have an issue with, um, with my tyre again. You know, this trail was absolutely amazing, but I think it was really that. It was really Nav coming back and and riding with me that really made this a fantastic day out. Yeah. Well, I appreciate having someone someone to talk to, but then also just in case I have an issue. Yeah, I know, you're you know. Oh, no, that's how I have it. So I'm almost finished now and that was really nice. Uh, not only was Nav good company, made the miles go by real quick, but it was good security as well. Not knowing what was gonna happen with my tire. Just to know I had that someone to ride along with who could help out if, uh, if I came unstuck in any way. But yeah, last 100 meters and uh, shorter ride than I was expecting. 
uh, about 40 kilometers but still it was a uh, good to see uh, the KMP trail and it's certainly one that I would come back to again I do hope you've enjoyed this ride just as much as I have if you have please remember hit the like button subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next ride.